First at five, the House passed a bill today aimed at avoiding a nationwide rail strike. That bill now heads to the Senate, but time is running out and a deal has to be reached by December 9th. Our Taggart Houck is following this and he joins us live in Greenville to break down these possible impacts. Tag. Yeah, good evening. The railroad industry is large. If a strike were to happen, this could cost about $2 billion a day and there could be some longer term impacts. Roughly 30% of U.S. freight still travels by rail, which is why avoiding a strike on December 9th has become a national priority. We've already got supply chain issues. We already have worker issues. We already have stores that can't get things delivered, much less manufactured on time. Top of mind is the potential impact on the holiday season. Most of the goods have already been delivered to stores or warehouses. So unless you're buying something that requires a lot of customization or just in time production, you're probably pretty safe for holiday shopping. But Dr. Scott Beyer at Clemson University says if a strike does happen, look for impacts on energy. While most of our, our gas moves through pipelines, ethanol is still required um, in a lot of production for environmental regulations. That still moves mostly by rail. A disruption may cause gas prices to increase as much as 16 to 20 cents a gallon. Some of the price relief we've had at the pump, um, we might see a little bit of bounce back. Look also for impacts on grain and other goods, even manufacturing. And if there are disruptions to supply chains, we're likely to see a lot of what we saw during the pandemic. Some goods we not, might not be able to buy in the store. Other goods we would see still on the store shelves, but, but at higher prices. And the Senate has to vote on this bill next. Bottom line, if a deal is not met by December 9th, there's a very strong sense that those workers are going to go on strike. By the way, the last time that there was a rail strike was back in 1992. That lasted for three days. For now in Greenville, Taggart Hauk, WYFF News 4.